G'day guys, it's February 2015 and amongst other things it means it's Zelda Majora's Mask time. Just over in the weekend past I went out and picked up the Majora's Mask Special Edition 3DS XL and also the game itself. Now I had to pre-order the 3DS XL from EB Games so I'll quickly get into the unboxing of the 3DS XL first. Just as a quick point of comparison, uh, you can see here the box for the 3DS XL, the new ones, is actually quite small. If I compare that to this box, you know, this is just crazy. This is the Ice White 3DS that I got from EB Games a couple of years ago. And you can see there's just, no, you know, there's no comparison, is there? Just the huge size difference is crazy between these two boxes. And you can sort of see, I've got a few different boxes here. Um, over the years, the boxes have progressively gotten smaller and smaller until they're now just this this one small little size. There's not much to this box. Uh, it just says on the front there's a bit of artwork for Majora's Mask. Now in Australia, this doesn't come with the game pre-installed like it does in some other regions. And you can see on the back here, just talks about the super stable 3D, uh, the new C-Stick, the amiibo function with NFC. And you've also got this warning to say that, once again, there is no power adapter included in this box. But in any case, let's open this one up. First things first, get rid of this out of the way. You've got the AR cards and a quick start guide and a manual. So, not that, not that exciting really. And the main show is the console. Now, there's nothing else in this box. That's pretty much it. All right, so the console itself. There we go. Now it's interesting, I did have a Zelda, um, a Link Between Worlds 3DS XL console, and this gold, um, just as a point of difference, I can already see this is, a, this is a gloss, which is a bit disappointing. I was hoping that would be matte. So you can see here on the front and back, it's a gloss plastic. Uh, it doesn't feel as glossy as the new black 3DS or the, the new blue one I think we got here in Australia but it's definitely glossy but the artwork looks quite nice if the camera will focus and it's 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 almost like a it's hard to explain it's it's definitely gold but it's more like a, it's got a slight greenish tint to it, tinge to it whereas the link between worlds 3ds xl had like a, it was a more like a a pale gold or a, or a it's hard to explain a pearl gold is probably the best point of difference whereas this is a more like a shiny gold so in any case, open that one up. Hmm, it's interesting. There's actually no click in the hinge on this one. Just, just to show you what I'm talking about, on all the XLs I've tried, and on the new 3DS XL black version that I had a couple of months ago, when you open, when you open the top screen, you get that audible click. And you also get quite a bit of screen wobble. Whereas on this one, if I can get that focus, it's just more of a dull, suppressed opening. Now oh, that's interesting, and the top hinge on this one is actually quite, it's quite firm, which is good news. Because um, on, if you remember my video from the new 3DS XL, the black version, um, it did click quite audibly, and the top uh, screen was just as wobbly as my original 3DS XL. So that's interesting, maybe in between the Australian and Japanese release of the 3DS XL, uh, and this special edition version, maybe they've actually upgraded the hinge slightly, or maybe this is just a you know just another variant uh, in the Nintendo manufacturing process. But in any case, that is actually quite nice. I'll quickly move on to the game now. All right, so there's not much to the game. Just looking at the front and the back, and it's a bit. A bit disappointing with games, with physical games these days, that basically you still get the Club Nintendo code, or, and I guess that's they won't be included soon. And all you get now is just an important, you know, it's just a warning card, really. You know, you don't get books anymore and or any artwork. It's just basically the case and the game. So it almost seems like they're really trying to push you towards digital. One last thing I'll quickly unbox is I bought a charging cradle at the same time. I bought this from Target, and it was fourteen Australian dollars. I don't know if I'll actually use this, but I thought I'd just pick one up. Open her up. So there you go, this is actually molded in a, in a matte plastic, which is nice, it feels kind of soft. 
there's a little bit of Nin Nintendo branding just there and underneath you can see here exactly where the power cord will go. Now I actually have a power cord here so it looks like this just plugs in on the end here and you can either pull the cord out through this end here or you can wrap it around one of these uh, corners here and then peg it out through the side there. So it's a pretty tidy little little device really. And then just to show you what that looks like with the console in it, there you go. So it's pretty tidy. I mean that would look nice on your desk. That's a pity all the designs are upside down but what the heck. Okay so I'm going to go set this one up and then I'll come back and do a few comparisons with the standard 3DS. Okay so we're all set up. Now I thought I'd quickly turn it on and show you how long the new 3DS takes to boot. Got the blue light there now doesn't take long, I mean one of the new benefits of the new 3DS XL is that new processor and how much sped up everything is. Now you can see there I've actually gone ahead and purchased one of the new themed uh, bat wallpapers and because they've actually got a 3DS wallpaper which is gold just like the console so I thought you know there you go Nintendo there's another two dollars for you to put in your coffers which I didn't need to spend but anyway I thought it looked pretty cool and, and it's a pretty good theme uh, to go with the Majora's Mask 3DS XL. I did want to touch on one thing and that is <laughs> there's two big differences between this um, between these two consoles which really sum it up for me it basically boils down to this screen for me is huge and really really uh, awesome to look at like I love playing games on the big screen and I find holding the 3ds XL just it's a joy to play with I don't get hand cramps um, and I just can play this for quite a long time and just really get immersed in the gaming this system has that one big problem where I hate the way this feels in their hand. This this gloss plastic when you're playing like if uh, if it's if it's a humid day or even a mildly hot day, your fingers basically stick or feel like they stick to the plastic. It feels like the plastic gets all greasy, and that's that's really the champion of this for me anyway. That's the champion of this regular version. Like this is a, this is a satin finish uh, booze faceplate, and the console itself is like a, a matte finish. So this feels really really nice in the hand to play with. Um, the only downside for me personally is that I find I do get hand cramps when playing this for longer periods of time and I also find that I don't enjoy the smaller screen as much as I do the 3DS XL. Now I know this is nit this is super nitpicking here. In any case guys I might leave it there for this video. If you have any questions about either console um, please let me know. Um, I'll be happy to answer all your questions. Now, what I'm going to do now is get uh, get into playing this Zelda game. So in any case, guys, thank you very much for watching, and bye for now.